Hi guys, it's your island girl, and I'm back with another reaction video for you today. And today we are reacting to why won't Americans wear UK firefighter helmets? And I'm getting this one from Girl Gone London. Go over and show her some love. The link for this one will be in the description below. All right, guys. So I am eager and excited to learn about this because I'm like, okay, why wouldn't they? Let's find out. So come on in, wrap back with a smile on the face and enjoy. Two of my regular schmegglers, day one, Sudipi, Sudipus. Come on in, wrap back up. Put a smile on your face and enjoy this reaction with the island girl. All right, here we go right now. Hi, and welcome back to the Girl Gun London channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I'm a dual UK and US citizen. And today we're exploring the difference between UK and US firefighting helmets. Okay. It's a hot topic if I've ever heard one. And I don't just mean that in a corny, joking way. Guys, there is a lot of controversy over this that I had no idea about. So oh. let's get started. And if you're like, wait, why are we covering just firefighting helmets and not UK versus US fire services in general? Don't worry, that video will be made, but there's so much to go over about just the helmets that we're gonna zoom in on the helmets today. Okay. So before we jump into the controversy, which don't you say controversy in the UK? Yeah. Comment below. I say controversy. <laughs> Um, but I think people here that I know say controversy. Is okay. this going to start something in the comments before we even started? Maybe. Okay. Before we jump into it and the history of firefighting helmets, let's define the differences we're talking about about when we refer to the modern European helmet versus the American helmet. Okay. This way you can have a picture in your mind of exactly what the fight is about. So in the UK, British firefighters use what's known in the firefighting community as the European or Euro helmet. A popular model is the MSA F1 and it looks like this. Oh. I'm just going to call it the UK helmet from now on because it is widely used within the UK fire service, but it's also widely used throughout Europe, hence the European designation. This okay. is a two-piece helmet made of lightweight materials that has a face shield that can be raised or lowered as needed. Oh. The shield is clear and might have an anti-fog coating inside. Um, it's often made with polycarbonate and they have good impact and heat resistance. Obviously, I looked this up. I did not just know this offhand. Okay. They're often round in shape and have a visor and eye protection. And when it comes to comfort, these helmets have a foam padding on the inside and are made of lighter weight materials. In okay. All that explanation that she just explained about the, the European or the UK helmets, that's not how the US helmets are. I, I never seen a firefighter here with a helmet on where they have a shield, pro eye protective shield, um, pa never. So this is fascinating to hear. Let's continue. In the US, the traditional American fire helmet looks like this. Exactly. You can see it's distinctly different from the UK helmet. Yep. American helmets have a more angular shape and are made of leather, though this is becoming a lot less common as we'll talk about in a moment. Typically nowadays, it's made from a composite material. They usually don't have much padding inside, but they do have the famous crest at the top. The wide brim at the back extends out and away from the collar, which is meant to direct water and falling debris back and away from the neck. The most oh. iconic color is red, though this can vary and you can find them in other colors. Now let's move on to firefighting helmet history, because to understand how we've gotten to a place where there is is a fascinating amount of arguing within the firefighting community in the US, we need to understand a little bit more about the history of firefighting helmets in both places. Okay. The original style of helmet within the UK from the Victorian era to the 20th century was the Meriwether helmet. Depicted here in an Etsy antique seller store I found. Oh. Side note, in case you're interested in purchasing, I was disappointed to realize that the helmet model, apparently named Thelma, is not included. So don't get your hopes up. <laughs> now, Meriwether helmets were made of brass, uh, though they could be silver plated if you were an officer. However, electricity then became more widespread and they were like, um, metal helmets are conductive and probably a safety hazard, so let's not. Okay. This led to new helmets made of composite materials and then steel helmets during World War II, finally going back to composite helmets after the end of the war. Okay. This photo 
from 1987 shows Ooh. London firefighters wearing something that more closely resembles the American style, but we can start to see that by 1999, the helmets are now looking closer to the European style helmet as it looks today. Oh. In 2009, a new uniform was rolled out for firefighters across the entire UK, again, retaining that more rounded European style. Okay. In the USA, the familiar style of American helmets have been used since around 1836 when they were originally developed by a New York City firefighter. Originally, they were made from hard leather, which was tough and resisted burning. And as you can see in the design that still exists today, the high dome existed to deflect falling objects. And the oh. long brim in the back, like I talked about, helped keep burning embers from falling into the collar. Okay. It wasn't until 1979 know that the National Fire Protection Association actually issued the first standards on firefighting helmets in America, which meant they started to take on a more consistent shape. And over time, composite materials became used more than leather. And today, leather is seen as an old school style helmet in the U.S. And some departments these days won't actually authorize the use of the leather version. Oh. However, the shape has remained roughly the same. It's same. just the material that the helmet was made out of. Okay. Now, in the past five or so years, some fire departments in the U.S. have started switching to the European style helmet for safety reasons. Oh. There are a few benefits to the Euro style helmet, which I'll let this lovely American man explain in this news section from KTAL News based out of Arkansas. Okay. These things just cover the top of your head where these actually come down and help protect the side of your head and your ears and everything. LED lights are built into the devices and additional features and like lot. cameras and radios can be added on, oh, all contained within the structure of the helmet. The biggest problem you run into with these helmets is everything that's hanging off these helmets catch in certain situations. However, Here's the controversy. Many American firefighters and firefighting departments are hugely resistant to this change and have no plans of adopting the European style helmet, even despite the benefits. After lots of investigation of YouTube comments and Reddit threads, a theme emerged. The controversy over which helmet is best for American firefighters has less to do with the safety features and more to do with the sense of tradition. What? For instance, Ed Harton, a fire chief in the U.S., brought over a European helmet for his men to try. He stated, almost as soon as it was suggested, there was a mounting opposition against it. I was intrigued with why the helmet got such an emotional reaction to a possible positive change. Another fire chief, Jason, in Cheyenne, Wyoming, spoke of a test his department did with the European helmets in an attempt to keep an open mind about their features and decide which one would be the best for the department. They found that the European helmets outperformed their current helmets, but they believed both met the basic safety standards, and they couldn't find enough data to validate the idea that the European helmet was overwhelmingly safer. His department's reaction was to ask if they could use both. One for public function and everyday use, the American one, and one to wear while they actually fight fires, which would have been the European style. In the end, this department decided to allow for individual choice between either helmet. Now, before you make a... Okay, now, are you serious? You're telling me that you're getting a helmet to protect yourself. That is better. And you're having an issue with it because... It's not traditional. Are you serious? It's not what you're comfortable with, with all the gadgets and everything that goes with it. It's, it's a better pick. And you have an issue with it? You got to be kidding me. No. Snap judgment and say, hey, those Americans are being dumb. Just change to the European style helmets if they're better. We also need to explore the other side of the argument. Firstly, okay. there are drawbacks to the European style as well, as explained by a UK firefighter who says, however, the European style helmets would still melt in a normal house fire scenario, and it's possible to get stuff dropped down the back of your tunic as there isn't the overhanging rim that traditional helmet shapes have. What I really hate about them is the fact they cover your ears. My hearing is shocking, and because of the design, I have to have my head pointing at somebody to hear them properly. Second massive con is it tunnels the noise just as effectively when you face something very loud, like a pump. This problem with the design of the European helmets regarding hearing did come up in my research in other instances as well. 
Another perspective, as explained by another firefighter in the same thread, is that one of the big pros of the American style helmet is that you can use them with any kind of protective suits, whereas the European style helmet seems to be the best for fighting fires, but worse for other functions that a firefighter might need to perform, which sounds a bit silly, but if you think about it, firefighters do more than just running into burning buildings all the time. And this person's experience was that the traditional helmet found the right balance between all of the tasks it needed to perform and was more versatile. But let's move on from the practical arguments and onto the ones based in culture and tradition. Okay, I guess I, I, I jumped the, the yeah. <laughs> um, so all you have to do then, why not just merge the two designs? What's the bit? You see, I it's, it's a simple fix. That's how I would look of it. And then he says it's not um, compatible with every uniform based on what they're using it for. Ugh. Merge the design and fix it. When you think about it, put the back part that nothing will fall off your head. Fix the ear part that you can hear somebody if they're talking to you from the side part. And, and try to cut down that tunnel noise that comes in from the front. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. That's what I'm saying. That's my opinion. Don't come for me. Let me know what you guys think. Honestly, one of the main reasons that American firefighters haven't switched over to the European style helmet is how they look. Even the British firefighter in the Reddit thread said, American fire kit looks, well, cool. I wish we had kit like that. There's something about an iconic American fire helmet that American firefighters enjoy. They themselves will often admit it's a matter of style and taste. And until such a point where there's enough data that their lives are in a significantly increased amount of danger from wearing it, why bother changing? Okay. And the final reason that you probably won't see every American fire department in Euro style helmets anytime soon goes back to Ed Harton's quote about being interested in understanding the emotional reaction he got by suggesting the European style helmet to his team. Hmm. The emotion there came from what the firefighting helmet means to American firefighters. Oh. It's not just a helmet to them for protection, but the helmet has an entire culture around it. For instance, one Redditor mentioned that in a lot of U.S. fire departments, receiving the traditional helmet is actually an earned privilege and, as he oh, says, okay. is kind of a big deal. Because of the front of the American helmet, it can also be customized for your personal department or personality. Um, so it could be a customized design that represents the pride you have in your department. Or, for instance, the old leather style helmets, you could flex the brim of the leather in a specific way that was personal to you. Okay. In many cultures, but particularly in American culture, the fire service is, as one article put it, a close-knit brotherhood with a shared culture that generates solidarity. Yeah, all Firefighter that. culture in the U.S. is based on emotional fortitude, physical strength, a high tolerance of risk, technical competence, and a public service ethos. These firefighters often don't view firefighting as a job, yeah. but a calling and a culture and a way of life. To many Americans, firefighters are in many ways worshipped by society as heroes. And the helmet then is a representation of all of that. Oh, okay. The thought of changing it then is not just based on the practical benefits but it's an emotional threat to a sense of identity and long-lasting traditions. Okay. It's likely that more fire services in the U.S. will slowly over time move to the Euro-style helmet as it becomes more popular in the U.S. But for now, because of the reasons that I've discovered, the change is slow and arguments over which helmet is best are still very much raging on within fire departments and on the internet. Okay. As always, I hope you learned something new and thank okay. you so much for watching. At the risk of starting our own controversy in the comment section, <laughs> let me know below which style you prefer the look of best. I am not going to lie. I like the European style. I, I, I gotta be honest with you. It looks cool to me. With everything, the shades coming down and from. But then again, I like the U.S. style too with that mask. <laughs> it looks super cool. See, I'm not picking side here on this one at all. I'm not, not, not I'm not going <laughs> to. But I get what she's saying. What, why the change is um, slow going. I, um, it's an emotional attachment. And yes, I've heard it so many times. 
firefighter is like a, a brotherhood it's not just a job for them it's it's something that, that you have to eager to do you don't want to put your life out there to put your life at risk um uh, they're considered as the heroes oh. <laughs> um yeah so i get where it's, but like i said if there's still debate on which one protects you more then i think you should they could true come to a concrete the concrete evidence of saying listen this one is better for you protect you and everything else before you make that drastic change because yeah that's my two cents let me know in the comment section what you guys think based on what she said all right it's the island girl and i'm running out of here come on in wrap back put a smile on your face and enjoy let me know in the comment section which video you'd like me to check out next because it will be done love you guys to the max and i'll catch you guys in another video bye